say that Donny Hathaway was considered to be a genius by musicians. Ladies and gentlemen, the very soulful Mr. Donny Hathaway. If I don't rise in the morning. In the world of soulful melodies and timeless tunes, Donny Hathaway was a rising star destined for greatness. But behind the spotlight lurked a shadow, a sorrowful truth that dimmed his path to becoming the next Marvin Gaye. Imagine a voice that could stir the depths of your soul, yet a mind plagued by the relentless grip of mental illness. This is the tale of a musical genius whose brilliance was eclipsed by the silent struggles he faced. Donny Hathaway's journey was a symphony of highs and lows, his voice resonating with passion and pain alike. Yet, amidst the acclaim and adoration, lay the harsh reality of bipolar disorder, an invisible adversary that haunted his every step. While his talent soared to celestial heights, his inner demons threatened to drag him into the abyss. In this captivating exploration, we uncover the heart-wrenching narrative of a man torn between the allure of fame and the agony of his own mind. Through the lens of his music, we unravel the layers of his torment, exposing the delicate balance between brilliance and madness. Join us as we unravel the enigma of Donny Hathaway, the poignant melody silenced too soon by the overwhelming weight of mental anguish. His story is a testament to the fragility of genius and the enduring legacy of a soul touched by both brilliance and sorrow. Donny Hathaway, a talented musician, faced ongoing challenges with his mental health, particularly schizophrenia. This condition affected his thoughts, emotions, and behaviors, making daily life and his career in music difficult. Despite his immense talent, Hathaway's struggles with mental health often overshadowed his achievements. Schizophrenia is a serious mental disorder that can distort one's perception of reality, leading to hallucinations, delusions, and disorganized thinking. For Hathaway, these symptoms likely posed substantial obstacles to pursuing his passion for music. The pressures of fame and the demands of the music industry may have exacerbated his condition, adding stress and complexity to his life. Throughout his career, Hathaway experienced episodes of instability, which affected his ability to work and maintain relationships. Despite his undeniable musical genius, his mental health struggles sometimes led to erratic behavior and unpredictable mood swings, making it challenging for him to collaborate with others and fulfill professional commitments. Additionally, Hathaway's personal relationships were also impacted by his mental health issues. Close friends and family members may have struggled to understand or support him effectively, leading to strained connections and feelings of isolation for Hathaway. It's essential to recognize that mental health struggles can affect anyone, regardless of their talent or success. Despite Hathaway's musical brilliance, his battle with schizophrenia highlights the importance of raising awareness and providing support for individuals facing similar challenges. Donny Hathaway's journey serves as a poignant reminder of the complex relationship between mental health and creativity. However, his sudden death at the young age of 33 left many puzzled and seeking answers. Officially, authorities declared his passing as a S, but doubts and rumors soon began to circulate, creating an air of mystery around the event. The circumstances surrounding Hathaway's death are murky, with conflicting accounts and unanswered questions. Some believe that there might have been foul play involved, suggesting that he may have been a victim of rather than having taken his own life. These speculations are fueled by the lack of clear evidence supporting the S conclusion. Additionally, Hathaway's mental health struggles have been brought into focus in the aftermath of his death. Reports suggest that he battled with depression and anxiety, which could have influenced his state of mind leading up to the tragic event. Some argue that these issues were not adequately addressed or taken seriously, leading to a situation where he felt overwhelmed and unsupported. Conspiracy theories abound, with some alleging that Hathaway's death was orchestrated by powerful individuals or entities with hidden agendas. These theories range from claims of involvement by jealous rivals in the entertainment industry to suggestions of political motives behind his demise. 
Despite the passage of time, the mystery surrounding Hathaway's death persists, captivating the public's imagination and fueling ongoing speculation. Efforts to uncover the truth continue, with supporters and skeptics alike seeking closure and clarity regarding the events leading to his untimely demise. Hathaway's death remains an enigma, with no definitive resolution in sight. Theories abound, but concrete evidence is scarce, leaving the true circumstances of his passing shrouded in uncertainty and intrigue. Donnie was famous for his collaborations with other artists, especially Roberta Flack. However, not many delve into the intricate details of his relationships and collaborations. These connections not only shaped his professional journey, but also deeply influenced his personal life. Hathaway's collaborations were pivotal in his career. His partnership with Roberta Flack yielded timeless hits like Where is the Love and The Closer I Get to You. These collaborations showcased his exceptional talent and contributed significantly to his success in the music industry. However, beyond the music, Hathaway's relationships had a profound impact on him. They were intertwined with his personal struggles, adding layers of complexity to his life story. Hathaway battled with mental health issues throughout his life, including depression and schizophrenia. His relationships often bore the weight of these struggles. His partnership with Flack, while musically fruitful, also had its challenges. Reports suggest that Hathaway's mental health issues strained their collaboration at times. These difficulties shed light on the complexities of navigating professional relationships amidst personal struggles. Despite the challenges, Hathaway's relationships were not solely defined by hardship. He shared genuine connections with his collaborators, built on mutual respect and admiration for each other's talent. These relationships provided him with support and creative inspiration, helping him thrive despite his personal battles. Hathaway's collaborations were a testament to his artistry and resilience. Despite facing internal demons, he continued to create music that touched the hearts of millions. His ability to forge meaningful connections through music speaks volumes about his character and the enduring impact of his work. Donny Hathaway's relationships and collaborations offer a multifaceted insight into the life of a talented artist grappling with personal demons. They underscore the complexities of navigating professional success while battling inner turmoil, highlighting Hathaway's enduring legacy as both a musician and a human being. Hathaway had a big effect on music and inspired many other artists. He made music that touched people's hearts in different styles. Looking into his legacy and how his own challenges affected his music can teach us a lot about him. Hathaway's influence stretched far and wide across the music world. He wasn't confined to just one genre. He explored various styles like soul, jazz, and gospel. His songs had a unique way of blending these genres, creating a sound that was both captivating and memorable. Many artists looked up to Hathaway and were inspired by his work. They admired his skillful songwriting, soulful voice, and ability to connect with listeners on an emotional level. Some even covered his songs or sampled his music in their own tracks, showing how much of an impact he had on their own musical journeys. But it wasn't just his music that left a mark. Hathaway's personal struggles also played a significant role in shaping his artistry. He battled with mental health issues throughout his life, which often found their way into his songs. His lyrics often reflected his inner struggles, offering listeners a glimpse into his world and making his music even more relatable. In the 1960s and 1970s, being a black artist like Hathaway in the music industry was tough. The music scene was mostly run by white people, and this created many problems for Hathaway and others like him. These challenges reveal bigger issues about fairness and equal opportunities in the music business. One big challenge Hathaway faced was getting his music heard. Many radio stations and record labels were controlled by white executives who didn't always support black artists. This meant Hathaway had to work extra hard to get his songs played on the radio and get record deals. Even when he had talent, it wasn't always enough to break through these barriers. Another issue was prejudice. Some people in the industry didn't believe black artists could be as successful as white ones. 
they didn't give them the same chances to perform or promote their music. This made it harder for Hathaway to build a fan base and make a living from his music. Discrimination wasn't just about opportunities, it also affected how Hathaway's work was recognized. Even if he created great music, he might not get the same awards or recognition as white artists. This unfairness hurt not only him, but also other black musicians who faced similar challenges. Despite these obstacles, Hathaway and others like him persevered. They used their talent and determination to overcome the odds stacked against them. Their success paved the way for future generations of black artists to have more opportunities in the music industry. Hathaway's early life laid the groundwork for his remarkable journey as a musician. Born on October 1, 1945 in Chicago, Illinois, Hathaway grew up in a modest household with his parents, Martha and Dr. Reuben Hathaway, and his younger sister. His family played a pivotal role in nurturing his talent and instilling values that would guide him throughout his life. From a young age, Hathaway showed a natural aptitude for music. His parents recognized his gift and encouraged his musical pursuits, providing him with opportunities to explore various instruments and styles. His mother, Martha, who sang gospel music in the church choir, exposed him to the rich tradition of African-American spirituals and hymns, which deeply influenced his musical sensibilities. Despite his family's support, Hathaway's early years were not without struggles. Growing up in the racially segregated neighborhoods of Chicago, he encountered discrimination and prejudice that left a lasting impact on his psyche. These experiences of marginalization would later inform his music, imbuing it with a sense of social consciousness and empathy for the marginalized. As Hathaway entered adolescence, his musical talents continued to blossom, earning him recognition in his community and beyond. He honed his skills as a pianist and vocalist, drawing inspiration from jazz legends like Nat King Cole and Duke Ellington, his dedication to his craft was evident from a young age, as he spent countless hours practicing and refining his technique. Despite his burgeoning success as a musician, Hathaway faced personal challenges that threatened to derail his promising career. In his late teens, he experienced a series of mental health crises, which were later diagnosed as schizophrenia. These struggles would haunt him throughout his life, casting a shadow over his achievements and contributing to periods of instability and uncertainty. Hathaway persevered, finding solace and purpose in his music. He attended Howard University in Washington, D.C., where he studied music on a scholarship. It was during his time at Howard that Hathaway began to gain recognition as a talented performer and composer, catching the attention of industry insiders with his soulful voice and virtuosic piano playing. After graduating from Howard, Hathaway embarked on a professional career in music, quickly establishing himself as a rising star in the industry. He collaborated with renowned artists such as Aretha Franklin and Curtis Mayfield, and released a string of successful albums that showcased his unique blend of jazz, soul, and gospel influences. Hathaway continued to grapple with personal demons, including his ongoing battle with mental illness. Tragically, his struggles came to a devastating end on January 13, 1979, when he died by S at the age of 33. His untimely death sent shockwaves through the music world, robbing the industry of one of its most gifted and influential talents. Donny Hathaway's family background and early experiences provide valuable insights into the complexities of his life and career. Despite facing numerous obstacles and challenges, Hathaway remained steadfast in his commitment to his craft, leaving behind a legacy of music that continues to inspire and resonate with audiences around the world. Examining Hathaway's experiences helps us understand the broader issues of representation and fairness in music. It shows that even talented artists can struggle if the industry isn't inclusive and fair. By recognizing these challenges, we can work towards creating a more equitable music industry where all artists have the chance to thrive, regardless of their race. Hathaway's music was a reflection of his experiences and emotions. Through his soulful voice and heartfelt lyrics, he conveyed feelings of love, 
pain, hope, and resilience. His songs resonated with listeners because they spoke to universal human experiences. Whether it was the joy of love found or the anguish of love lost, Hathaway's music captured the essence of the human condition. One of the enduring themes in Hathaway's music is love and relationships. His songs explored the complexities of romantic love, from the euphoria of newfound romance to the heartache of separation. Tracks like A Song For You and Someday We'll All Be Free epitomize Hathaway's ability to articulate the nuances of love and its impact on the soul. Hathaway's music also addressed social issues and advocated for change. Songs like The Ghetto and Little Ghetto Boy highlighted the struggles faced by African Americans in inner-city communities, shedding light on issues of poverty, injustice, and systemic oppression. Hathaway used his platform to amplify the voices of the marginalized and call for greater equality and understanding. Furthermore, Hathaway's musical prowess extended beyond his solo work. His collaborations with artists like Roberta Flack produced timeless classics such as Where is the Love, showcasing his versatility and ability to connect with audiences across genres. Donny Hathaway's impact on music and his lasting legacy are undeniable. His ability to blend different genres, connect with listeners emotionally, and channel his personal struggles into his artistry have left a lasting impression on the music world. He continues to inspire countless artists across genres, proving that his music will always remain timeless. Despite his untimely passing, Hathaway's music continues to resonate with listeners of all ages. His soul-stirring melodies and poignant lyrics transcend time, leaving an indelible mark on the world of music. As fans continue to discover and rediscover his catalog, Hathaway's legacy as a musical icon only grows stronger with each passing year. Hathaway's legacy continues to live on. His songs are still celebrated and enjoyed by people of all ages, proving that good music transcends time. His ability to turn pain into art and connect with audiences on a deep level is what makes him a legend in the music industry.